Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Bo and this is Kicks Exclusive TV. Check them like, where you from? Summertime skirt, no roof on. Brum Town 0121. Friday night, it's a loose one. Too many girl can't choose one. Two two scan got moves on. Talking a mill on route one. Some fat fresh bars got new ones. You yeah, don't need that attention. The first trainer in my collection is a Jordan. It's the only Jordan in my collection. The hype around them was unreal. And I think it's a good one to start off with. So the first trainer is AJ1 Travis Scott. When I first laid my eyes on these, I had to get them in the collection. Soft brown suede around the toe box. Premium white leather on the toe box. And what caught my eye the most was the backward swoosh. I've just never seen that before in any trainers. I just thought, that's never gonna happen again. Travis and Nike have been making some heat recently. And this is by far the best way in my opinion. You've got the white laces. When I'm rocking the pink laces in the other, they come with four pairs of laces, but I think that's the best color combination. So. That's it, the first trainer in my collection. The second one in my collection is one of the Virgil Off-White collaborations with Nike, uh, one of the first 10. Uh, the, by far my grail in the whole collection. Most comfiest shoe I own, and my favorite shoe I think ever to be made. It is the Off-White Presto, the first release. They made a white and black pair after this one, but these were by far my favorite. The whole 10 were just unbelievable. What he did with the shoes was bring them back to their basic forms, leaving the sponge on the tongue revealed, uh, even right in air on the shoe, when it's an Air Max. It's, a, it's such a great shoe. It's by far the most favorite shoe in my collection, and that's why it deserved a spot in my collection. The third shoe in the collection is a super clean shoe. It's another part of the 10 with Virgil and Nike. Uh, these are going to be a crazy summer shoe and if you haven't got them I'd recommend getting them even though the resale price is pretty high but they're such a clean shoe. It is the Air Max 97 off-white collaboration with the 10. These for me are such a perfect white shoe because people buy white shoes and get scared of wearing them because of getting them dirty etc etc but these the material that's on them if we can get a close-up and you can see it's like a wipe off wipe on material so anything that's on it you can just wipe it off it's a clean shoe the again in bringing it back to the simplicity of the shoe you've got a see-through piece of material on the tongue you've got the air quotation marks on the tongue and on the sides and the iconic red cable tie that comes on all the shoes so that is number three of my collection number four of the collection is another crazy shoe which Virgil did again with the collaboration with Nike and this is the OG Off-White Vape Max collaboration I had to cop this shoe because at the, at the time Off-White hadn't really made any shoes it was the first release and Vapor Max were a new thing so I've seen these Vapor Max and I've never seen a Vapor Max with a clear blacked out bubble the whole way around and again I love what he did with the simplicity of the shoe showing the sponge on the tongue and really bringing the basics back with the even the stitching is on show where usually trainers try and hide or do the same colour stitching but this guy's gone white stitching on black shoe so something that probably won't ever happen again something I haven't seen before so I had to cop these in the collection. The fifth shoe in the collection is something that was released recently it's a really out there shoe uh, I've seen it and just thought I had to cop it it's got double ticks, double tongues, double laces and a double sole. It's the collaboration of Sakai and Nike, their Blue Waffle shoe. It's just a crazy concept. They've got a double sole, double tongue, double laces and a double tick. It's almost like double for your money. It's just something that it's going to be such a summer vibe this year. They've got a see-through prime knit sort of thing over the box. So you've got to be careful what socks you're wearing. I just thought it was such a vibe that these came out and I had to cop them for the collection. 
number six in the collection is a bit of a growl for me as it was the first sneaker really to get me into this streetwear sort of thing. It is the Air Max 97 Rio 2013. These came out in 2013, I believe it was for the Brazilian Olympics. Um, it's a Air Max 97, but it's just such a standish out there shoe. It's got almost like a Rubik's Cube coming down the upper, along with some green mesh sort of material and a new book material. Um, I had these in somewhere called Crep Up because I hadn't seen them before in such good condition. Um, yeah, they're just such a great shoe. I couldn't pass the opportunity of missing them, so that's why it's in the collection. Number six is a shoe that all the old sneakerheads are going to know about. It's a remake for Air Max Day that they came out. It's an Air Max One and it's the Air Max One Elephant. These really caught my eye because obviously they're such an iconic shoe that came out years and years ago. The Tiffany Blue Tick really got me as you never see really any Tiffany trainers, there's only in a couple pairs of Jordans. You've got the elephant around the toe box, the elephant print around the toe box, the white upper material, the premium leather. Uh, this shoe is always going to be iconic and that's why it made it into my collection. Another shoe that made it into my collection was a shoe that's so hyped in the UK and it just stands out. It's got that Gucci print almost on it. It's the Air Max 97 undefeated uh, in black. So obviously you've got the black, the red and the green uh, on the shoe which gives it that Gucci look which Gucci at the moment is the most hyped brand about. These are just a crazy shoe. You can wear them, not have to worry about wearing them again, like the Off-White 97s. They're a wipe on, wipe off material around the toe box, around the whole perimeter of the shoe. So they're really practical. They look great with stacked jeans, skinny jeans, stacked tracksuit bottoms. I actually have some baked tracksuit bottoms that I wear them with because the colors go together. So yeah, that's why it's in my collection. Moving on from Nike to Adidas, uh, these are probably my favourite 350 boots that ever came out. Because uh, when they first came out, they were just like black and red, black and green, black and copper. They were just like boring colours, but these sort of broke the cycle of the black shoes. And it is the 350 Zebra. These caught my eye because obviously they're a white shoe and they've got this Zebra black print throughout the whole shoe. And you've got this right red writing on the side of the shoe which really stood out for me so as a summer shoe they're great they did release small pairs i think it was last year they released close to a million pairs or over a million pairs something like that so the demand for them isn't as high as it used to be but they're still a great shoe to have in a collection so yeah that's why it's in the collection another adidas shoe that made it into my collection is another recent purchase that i brought it is the black, triple black 500s. Um, I'm really into this thing that Kanye has sort of started doing is these dad shoes uh, with the chunky soles. I just think they're the next trend. They're gonna last for a little while. So that's why I had to get an all black Yeezy dad shoe vibe. I didn't have an all black Yeezy and the dad shoe vibe was just the thing that I liked at the time. So that's why these made it into the collection. Also, I'd like to point out, I really appreciate what they did with the suede on the toe box. It's not just like cheap, rubbish suede. It's a really like nice premium of market suede that they use. So, I need to ask you doing well. Coming to the end of the collection now, uh, second last pair, another Adidas pair from Kanye, and it is the Yeezy 700s. Love these, wore them a bit, they've got some marks on, but again, love that dad shoe vibe. Love what Adidas did with the hidden 3M there, uh, the three stripes of the Adidas logo. Great shoe, great, great shoe. Premium suede on the toe box again, chunky sole, can't go wrong, look great with some shorts, black Adidas socks. Great, great shoe. Last but not least, this is just a, a staple that most people have in their shoe collection, so couldn't pass up on the opportunity. It is a old school van. Went for the overly hot checkered one. Uh, they just look great with some tapered skinny cuff jeans on the ankle. 
you just can't go wrong with them so that's why they're in the collection so that concludes my sneaker collection hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching if you're still watching we're going to be doing a wardrobe tour in the future just some of the stuff that i wear and have in my wardrobe and we're also going to be doing some sneaker reviews because we get all the latest drops so we're going to be telling you if it's worth it to cut the shoes if they're worth the resale value what they're like in hands and on foot shots if you like all the content so far and you want to see more subscribe thumbs up and leave in the comments what you'd like to see next thank you summertime skirt no roof on from town 0121 friday night it's a loose one too many girl can't choose one two two scan got moves on talking and milk on route one some fat fresh bars got new ones you i don't need that attention may i stay blessed like reverend roaring my dogs like henchmen trying to get beat from the entrance trying to get dough from a